I'm Jeffrey Grossenbach, and this is a free mini peep code talking to you about the Deprec gem and how to install a full Rails stack on Ubuntu very easily. I'm going to be doing this on Mac OS X with the Parallels environment, but you could do this on an actual hardware box or whatever kind of setup you want to do. So first, I'm going to turn on a little bit of internet sharing within my Mac. When you install Parallels, it gives you a Ethernet adapter port that is really only available to Parallels, and that's great for sharing your internet connection. It lets Parallels act as if it's on a little subnet inside of your computer. So I'm going to turn that on, and I'll use that later with the setup of Parallels. Next, I'm going to go to Parallels and make a new VM. I'm going to use just some of the standard defaults here. I'm going to use Linux and Debian Linux since Ubuntu is based off of that. I'm going to give this a little bit of a title to be able to remember that for the future. Two other small things. First, I'm going to set the CD-ROM to an image file for Ubuntu. I'm using just the live CD and we'll use that to actually install Ubuntu. Nice thing about Parallels is you don't have to actually burn a CD. You can just use a downloaded ISO image of Ubuntu. Then I'm going to turn on that host only networking, which just lets me use that internet sharing that I turned on earlier. You can do it without that, but I, I feel like it works a little bit better. So go ahead and save that and start it up. You're going to see Ubuntu booting as if it were booting off of the live CD and Next, we're going to use this to actually install Ubuntu itself off of the live CD image. So go ahead and double click the install icon on the desktop. That will start the process of actually installing Ubuntu onto your hard drive as opposed to just running it off of the live CD. You can choose English, you can choose the location where you're living so it can set the time properly. Vancouver is as close as I see here for to Seattle, so I'm just going to choose that. Keyboard layout, you can just leave that standard or whatever. Create a user. I like to just use deploy as the username and just choose a password. Write it down somewhere, remember that. The deployment user is nice because you can just use that here to do the actual deployment. And if you're actually running on a, another server, the deployment user can be separate from the user you actually use for any kind of personal things on that server. So it's nice to have an extra user just called deploy for performing the actual deployment. So as you can see here, it's going through and it's installing itself. While we're doing that, I'm going to set up just my local machine, which you can see here in the black window is actually the machine I'm going to be performing the deployment from. Going to install the Deprec gem with dependencies. If you have not already, it will install Capistrano, NetSSH, the Rails machine gem, and a couple other things for you. So while that's finishing up, what we're going to do here is we're going to reboot and set a few things within Ubuntu. Then we're going to let the Deprec gem go ahead and do all the rest of the work for setting up Rails on our stack. So I'm going to just go ahead and use the shutdown command for Ubuntu and use that opportunity once that's done to unhook it from the live CD image that we previously used. We don't need that anymore because it's actually installed on our hard disk. And so this will make it work smoothly and not have to continually be looking for that live CD. With that in mind, restart the whole thing again. So here we are only approximately four minutes into it. We have a working Ubuntu system. Next thing we want to do just a little bit to get this ready for working with Capistrano, we're going to make sure we have a SSH server running and that we have whether updates we need on Ubuntu. So first I'm just going to run the update manager and have it go ahead and install all the things that it needs to since that live CD was made. 
This may take a few minutes. I've sped up the process a bit. Install all of those. And when it's done, do not try to reboot because we're going to install a few other things before that happens. And this take, may take a while. It has to install all that, install these different packages, and configure them. But once that is done, we can click close, close the software update window, and install an SSH server. It may prompt you to restart, but uh, that's okay. You don't have to do it. We'll just open up the terminal, and I'm going to use the sudo command to install open SSH server. sudo apt-get install open SSH that server. That will give us what we need to to be able to connect the SSH to this machine. Password is going to be whatever one you chose for the deploy user. That also may take a few minutes to actually install, but once you're done, it should actually set up the server and have that running. Also, we'll have it run on boot in case you ever need to restart this image. And finally, for your information later on, we're going to look at system administration network tools, and that's going to tell us what the IP address of this machine is. Look at the Ethernet adapter, and we can see there, for me, it is 192.168.2.7. I'm going to use that for deployment later on. So since you've done that, you can now restart, and that's the last that we will have to do anything on the Ubuntu server itself. The rest of this we are going to do remotely using Rails and the Deprec gem through Capistrano. So I'm going to make a simple little Rails app just called My Rails App. You may already have an application that you want to use. Go ahead and change into the directory of that app. And the deprec gem gives us a little command line to deprec apply to dot. We'll copy a basic deployment file with a few variables already set up to make it easier. 